Welcome back to flute. Let's learn where to put our fingers. All right, so we just put together our flute. We have it fully put together properly. The foot joint here, we have our bar lined up. We've lasered down our hole to make sure that it's lined up with our keys. Now that we have all that, now what we need to do is figure out where to put our flute or how to hold our flute. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to start with our right hand. We always like to start with our right hand on a flute. It makes it easiest. So we're gonna start with the, fo the foot joint down here. I want you to take your right hand and your pinky. When you look at the foot joint, there's all these keys down here. I want you to put it on the first one. Your pinky goes right there. That's one of your balance points on the flute. After you have that, I want you to take your thumb, set it on the back of the instrument. Now what you do with three, two, and one, you're just gonna walk it up with the keys that are there. Three, two, one. So with your right hand, you're going to go pinky, thumb, three, two, one. Now that you have that, you have the basic hold for the right hand. Your thumb. Now, let's talk about our left hand. Our left hand is the one that's a little more complicated. So let's figure out how to do that. First things first, we have to figure out what area of the flute to put our left hand. If you look, there's this magical line here on a flute. It's called our G sharp key. Where we take that, and that is our dividing line. Below that goes for our right hand, above that goes for our left hand. So we are gonna take that magical dividing line, that's where we're gonna start. Just like with our left hand, our right hand, we're gonna know, call it our pinky. Three, two, and one. So our pinky is gonna go on that G sharp key. You're gonna work your way up. Three, two, don't do one yet. Good. If you notice, when you push down two, it closes the one right above that. So you don't need to use a finger on that button. The one above that, though, is where you need to push down your finger. So you're gonna put down your pinky. Three, two, skip one, and go up to the next one. So we have our right hand, pinky, three, two, one, pinky, three, two, one, and on the back with our thumb, we're gonna use our thumb on the flat key. All right, so now that we got our fingers where they need to go, now we need to know how to hold it up to our face. On flute, there's four balance points. Where it touches your lip, how we practice with our head joint. Where the flute touches your hand on your left hand, right there, where it touches. Your thumb on your right hand, and your pinky on your right hand. So what I'd like for you to do is take your flute, put your fingers on all the keys, hold it straight out in front of you. Good. Now, with your arms still in a semi-straight position, I would like for you to take the flute and bring it up to your face. Notice my head did not move. I brought the flute to me. Do that again. Hands out. Fingers where they need to be. And bring it up to your face. Notice how my arm is extended out. I'm not bringing it in. I'm not twisting my head. Out. In. Now I have my fingers exactly where they need to be and my body posture and position is absolutely correct. Go ahead and try that a couple more times, just to make sure that you have it. Yes, your arms will hurt a little bit, but if you do it properly the first couple times, it makes it so much easier down the road. 